This blind man who had to beg in order to make a living was smart. He went to a place where he knew there would be a lot of rich people, and so when he begged, he had a better percentage of getting some return for when he was, when he was asking for things. Jericho was one of the most wealthy towns. It was like an oasis in the midst of the, the hot and difficult world of the Holy Land. Ah, the rich would go there. And well, if you want to get good donations, you go to where there are a lot of rich people. And that's where he was. Now, that is important to think about, that he was smart, but I'd like to also think about this reality of blindness. Time and again we find Jesus healing blind people. What does it mean now that he heals blind people? Let's, let's take something maybe just a little bit bigger than this one incident and see if this could be representative of something else. We pray to Jesus for healing if, if, our, if we're blind, if, if we have cataracts, if we have vision problems. Yes, and we, we pray like, the, like this man in, in Jericho. Yes, we pray that God will give us. But what about other blindness? What about the blindness of knowing myself? So many times we're blind to our talents. We're blind to our fears. We're blind, oh, so many times, to the love that people have for us in our own life. So as we pray and we hear this story of Jesus healing blindness, yes, those physical problems, but what about the other problems? The problems of how I am blind to my talents, to my fears, and to the love of people in my life. Let's pray with faith. Uh, and that was an important ingredient in the healing that came to this, this man in Jericho. He had faith. And because of his faith, he was able to be healed. So, Lord, I need you. I need you to help these physical eyes. But, Lord, touch my soul and my heart that I can understand the gifts you've given me and be courageous in manifesting them. Help me to see my fears. But most of all, Lord, help me to not be blind to the great love you have for me.